Composite spray adhesives. What are they and which one should you be using? I'm Carl from Easy Composites and in this short video I'll be comparing our Fusion Fix EP and our GP2 to see which one to use and when. Now both of these adhesives have been specifically developed for composites and although they look similar they are in fact very different in their chemistry and how they should be used. If we start with the GP2, now this one is more of a general purpose product, closer to a conventional composite spray adhesive. And it's suitable with all of the main resin systems, that being polyester, vinyl ester and epoxy. You typically use it to help position the material stack into a mould prior to a resin infusion, that being the dry fabric, core material and the rest of the bagging consumables. The size of the part doesn't matter, if you need something to stay in place, then this is going to help. Like most composite spray adhesives, the GP2 uses a rubber compound as its tap mechanism, and this one has been specifically formulated so that when used appropriately, the strength of the cured laminate isn't affected or compromised. Because it has a high tack level, it really only requires a light dusting to give you the hold that you need. If you've used spray tacks before, then you may be aware that they can leave milkiness in resin-rich areas of a part. Another great feature about the GP2 is it has a clear formula, and in most cases won't cause any of that visual contamination when used within the laminate. So how do different resins react with these sprays? Well, if you're using it with polyester or vinyl ester resin, the solvent within these types of resin tends to dissolve and disperse the traces of the adhesive into the resin matrix. So with solvent-based resins, GP2 can be used anywhere, including on the mold surface. But this isn't the case with epoxy resin, particularly when you want to tap reinforcement directly onto the mold surface. As there's no solvent in epoxy, there's nothing to dissolve that adhesive trace, and it will leave behind a tacky residue on the mold tool. Now you can clean this away with a solvent like IPA, but it is likely to strip the release agent off your mold, meaning you've then got to go through the whole process of reapplying it every time you make a part. There's also the potential for some of the sticky traces to be transferred onto the part itself. And the problem with that is, cleaning it away can leave a slight texture as the tiny particles of adhesive are lifted out. What do you do when it comes to epoxy surface plies then? Well, that's where Fusion Fix EP comes in. This is an epoxy based product, which means that it's fundamentally different from GP2 and other common spray tacks, and cannot be used with polyester or vinyl ester resins. Rather than using a rubber compound to create the tack, it relies on epoxy molecules suspended in the propellant. Thanks to this epoxy base, it has almost no impact on the mechanical properties of a finished epoxy part. It's also completely clear, meaning you won't end up with any visible contamination in resin rich areas or even on the mold surface. Now when demolding, any of the product used on the mold surface will have become an integral part of the component. That means there's no cleanup of the residue on the mold or the part. Now do bear in mind that the particles of the EP resin on the part surface will be less resistant to strong solvents or abrasives when compared to the surrounding epoxy. And so exposure to these really should be avoided if possible. In reality though, if your cosmetic parts are going to be subject to strong solvents and abrasives, then really they should be finished with some form of protective coating anyway. In comparison to GP2 and other common products, the EP's tack is not quite as strong and the working time is much shorter, giving you only around 10 minutes of usable tack time. The unique formulation does also mean that it comes out a bit more expensive than these other products. So I recommend using both in combination. On larger projects, use Fusion Fix EP for tacking the cosmetic surface ply to the mold face, and then GP2 for heavier backing plies, core materials, and bagging consumables. There's also one final trick that we can do with EP, and that is to use it as a stabilizer on delicate materials. Simply spraying over the surface of a fabric and leaving for around 20 minutes will produce a tack-free, well-stabilized material that can be handled without distortion and cut with only minimal fraying. In fact, we have a whole video covering this feature over on our main Easy Composites channel. So hopefully you've now got a pretty good idea of what these two spray adhesives are about. To summarize then, only use a Fusion Fix EP with epoxy resins. Its completely clear formula is best for tacking reinforcement directly to the mold surface in epoxy infusions where the surface layer is cosmetically critical. Or if you don't want to leave any traces of the adhesive on the part or the mold after demolding. It can also be used throughout the stack if you don't need a high tack or a long working time. The GP2 then can be used for everything else, where it's high tack, long working time, clear formula and negligible impact on the mechanical properties make it arguably the best general purpose composite spray adhesive on the market. Keep in mind though that it will leave a slight residue when used on the mold surface with epoxy resin. Well that should be absolutely everything that you need to know. 
but if you still have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments below or contact the Easy Composites technical team who would be very happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.